after the veto last night during the double eviction, we saw you try to convince Matt to take you off the block with the veto by saying that Bowie Jane had a deal with Sari. Talk to me about your strategy behind that and how you generally handle the double eviction after losing both the HOH and veto. Strategy? I don't know her. I was literally just begging and pleading Matt. There really isn't anything else that I could have done in that moment. I, oh. I'm looking back, I'm like, oh, I must have looked so pathetic. I was just there, like, literally begging him to to use it on me. I was like, Matt, come on, like, I've, you know, I, I've been your ally. Like, please, please, please. There really wasn't anything that I could say. I, I told him that he would be safe. I told him that I wasn't going to come after him and, and Jag. Uh, all of that was a lie, obviously. But I was just trying to do my best to, like, I don't know, get through to him that, like, you know, I'm... I'm really on their side and I, I've been loyal to them and it, it, there really wasn't much strategy at that point. I was just so desperate, right? I know that I, I, I didn't stand a chance against Phyllish on the block. I know that I was their, their target, their next target. I, I don't know what I could have done. I was just begging, pleading. I, I surprised I didn't get on my knees. Uh, that would have been too much, but that was that was it that's all that's all I could do I really couldn't I just the only thing I could do is promise them safety right but they were never gonna buy it with Julie last night you mentioned your frustration with not winning any competitions and how tough it was to go up against the bigger guys in the house talk about your thoughts on how the competitions have gone down this season and how it's contributed to what Jag and Matt have been able to do so far uh the competitions oh my god I don't know how this happened, but the the boys just steamrolled through the girls this season. Oh my god! Other than I mean, Felicia wants not a winner. Bowie got two HOHs out, and Blue got that that number guessing veto. I guess it, it's just been so frustrating. There was like a whole ass like six weeks there where it just went Cam Jared, Cam Jared, Cam Jared for for HOH. It was so frustrating. It was the same thing over and over. Uh, it was just so monotonous, so repetitive. It was, it, and it, it's not like, you know, these competitions were geared uh, towards the big guys, right? Like, it was a mix. There were a lot of mental comps uh, that anybody could have won. Uh, you know, there's competitions for everyone. But for some reason, these guys are just, they're really good. Like, they, they surprised me. Matt's done great in a lot of the, the mental competitions. So has Jag. Uh, it's just been so frustrating to have the same people win over and over. You feel sort of helpless. Uh, ugh, it sucks. I'm really mad that I couldn't do better. I really try to focus, really try to like, you know, keep my cool under pressure and, and do well, but it just was never enough. You developed a partnership with Corey that eventually turned into a relationship, even becoming official as boyfriend and girlfriend. How much did your gameplay change once your feelings for him got incorporated into it? Uh, my gameplay, my gameplay changed quite a bit, right? Once feelings started getting involved. Like on the one hand, I, I just wanted to spend all my time with him and I knew that we couldn't do that we both knew, knew that we couldn't do that right like we're in this house to play we're both huge fans we were we weren't here to like you know cuddle up in in bed all day so it, it changed it was just harder because we wanted to spend more time together we did spend more time together and it did I think distract me from from the game aspect of it, especially this la these last few weeks as the numbers started to dwindle down, uh, there's less stuff to do, less people to talk to. So of course I'm gonna go wanna go and cuddle up with my person and just spend all my time with them, right? Uh, but other than that, I mean, also like, you know, my, I, I, was, I was distracted from the game in that sense, but also if I ever got any information it would immediately go to Corey, right? He was my person and people, you know, coupled us up early in the beginning, but once feelings started getting involved and everybody knew we were official at that point, we were inseparable and I knew it was going to, you know, uh, form a big target on our backs, um, which didn't, didn't help. 
You consistently revealed information to other house guests throughout the season, with everything from telling Cameron that Jared was coming after him to telling Blue that Jag and Matt were targeting her. What was your intention behind revealing all of that intel, especially in a house where loose lips can sink ships? Oh, I know this game. I know better. You know, my strategy going into this game, it's like, oh, like, you know, just shut my mouth. Uh, I, I know that, like you said, loose lips sink ships. And still, I just couldn't help it. Oh, my God. I'm just like so honest and blunt outside of this game. Uh, being in there and, and you have so much time. I don't think people realize like how much time there actually is. We're all just sitting around looking at each other doing nothing. After a while, you get bored and I'm like, you know what? Let me go tell Cam, you know, about, you know, this little secret that I know. Um, it's just so tough to keep your mouth shut. And then Cam, okay, so the Cam thing. Uh, Cam and I have been you know, we were close from, from the beginning with family style. Everybody was like anti cam. I liked cam. I thought he was cool. He had never wronged me in every, in any way. Um, it, it's just like, I, I don't know. I had this feeling that I, that I could trust him. And, um, I, I yeah, it, it was tough, right? Like cam was somebody that I thought I could trust blue was somebody that I, I just felt like in my gut that I could trust. There really wasn't any strategy behind it other than you know let's you know let's tell them and see where the, where this goes and that was so stupid oh my god but yeah there's just so much time to talk y'all and it wasn't just me okay everybody was talking to everybody and so once you realize that like everybody's talking to everybody anyway and everybody is spilling everyone's secrets i'm like okay well why am i going to be the one to keep my mouth shut right like all my all my information is out there and has been leaked like let me let me join in finally give me your rapid fire thoughts on each of the remaining house guests starting with bowie jane bowie jane uh floater uh Floater, ditzy, dumbass, uh, <laughs> uh, fangirl, puppy dog. Sari. Sari. Sari is uh, grumpy, chill, glued to the comic room bed. Uh, she is, from what I know, trustworthy, sort of silent. Um, yeah. Felicia. Uh, Felicia, farter, uh, selfish, running around the house all the time, uh, scrambling. Uh, Felicia is, uh, yeah, she, uh, Felicia, uh, bold. Felicia, if anything, Felicia is bold. Uh, I'll give her that. Jag. <sighs> Superhuman athlete. Cockadoodle Zoom. The Jag man. He is sneaky he's a liar he's a manipulator he a comp beast and finally matt matt sneaky matt sneaky 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 um i don't know yeah sneaky he's also a liar also a manipulator he is he's he's great he's a sleepy boy uh, Maddie Ice, Maddie Nice, Maddie Smokes, Maddie, <laughs> um, the Ice Pick. 